first of all, I would like to start this video by saying I do not like logic at all. Now, for me to get into why I don't like logic is just kind of a simple thing is I don't really like another person. Like if another person didn't like me, you know, that's completely fine. Now, I don't like a lot of people. I don't like a lot of stars and stuff that get so successful that it feels like the songs they're making are sort of manufactured and they're made for people in this certain way to where, you know, they're just making songs that are relatable. They're just doing this thing for these people and you're just another face in the crowd. You're just one in a million. One in 200, say a person has 200,000 fans. You're just one in 200,000. And at that point, you're just sort of a customer, you know? But that kind of gets into the dark side of the music industry. Anyways, what I was gonna, what I was gonna say is, you have to think about the possible reasons why a person would retire um, at such a young age. Now, at first, you know, I, I thought about it, and it's like, well, you could say, oh, he's a sellout, right? He's fake. Obviously, he was just doing it for the money. If he's just gonna give up. Now, there's a lot of different aspects to that, too. Oh, well, he was using his therapy. Well, he was using it as this or that or that. He was entertaining himself, you know, whatever reason, you know, or he was making money. So there's all these reasons why. Why a person would rap. Why a person would do this or that or this or that, you know. And mostly, people just do things for money because, really, I mean, people are savages and they're just greedy and that's all they really care about. But you got to think about someone like that. <clears throat> so when you get famous, there's a couple of things you have to consider. You know, you have to have security. You have to consider that people are going to hate you. Like naturally, people are going to be jealous of you. People are going to not like you. And not liking someone is a lot different than actually hating them and being jealous and being all, you know. And that's, you know, that's obviously, you know, that's a, a, a factor in why a person would quit or wouldn't want to be there in the first place or would never want to pursue it in the first place because it's dangerous. Another thing is the way you affect people, you can affect them positively, but you can also affect them negatively. But being a musical artist, I mean, I like to think that you mostly affect people positively. That being said, success can actually make other people feel inferior, especially when you got people that are so fucking big that they wouldn't even give you the time of day and it's not that they don't give a shit about you they're just such a big they don't have time to connect with every single person but they're so successful and it really separates people from this guy is so successful this person's not successful this one you know whatever problem this person has and that can court us, kind of sort of create a problem but you can't really say that's the person's prop, uh, fault for doing that they were just living their dream they were just making money they were just doing what they do but here's the thing Here's the thing. So, I don't know if anyone's going to watch this video, but if you know the guy from, uh, like, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, I, I don't even remember his name. All I know is, you know, he was just in a bunch of movies, and apparently he was a really big deal. But looking back, I mean, I guess he's a good actor, and I think maybe people were related to him because of the glasses he wore, and he's kind of this nerdy guy. But um, the guy in Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, and he's in a lot of other movies, um, I, his name's Rick. But he actually quit making movies because he was going to take care of his family. Now, you got to think about that, okay? Why would someone say, well, I'm going to retire and I'm going to take care of my family? Okay, so you could just say, well, I'm retiring because I'm taking, see, here's the thing, because I'm going to take care of my family. So you're retiring because you don't want to rap, you don't want to be a bad influence, or you don't want to, um, you know, you don't have the time to rap or do this anymore because you're going to take care of your kids. Okay. But when you, when, 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 when a, if a person tries to say that, it's like, you know, especially for the guy that was in, I, I'm just going to call him the honey shrunk the kids guy. Cause I don't really know his name. I, I'd have to look it up. But, um, even for that guy, it's like, dude, like there's so many hours in a day, but you know, being on a Hollywood set can kind of be different too. And making big songs can be different too, because sometimes people don't, what people are actually doing to produce the songs they're making they're not just making a couple songs and some people do just make a couple of songs but they might be going through several different beats several different tracks before they're gonna get to the song that they want to put out before they get a good song because not and, and you know that kind of gets into the world of 
mixtape versus album. And really, I mean, I don't even know the difference, really. I guess a mixtape is more of a contemplation, sort of a, like you're just blacksmithing some songs out, you know, or whatever. You're just making these songs to build up to the album to where you're going to put everything that you really, like all the key points of what you want to put into an album. Now, that can be love, you know, it depends on what you're going to make. Um, <clears throat> so... When you think about that, though, and I, I don't really want to talk about all that shit really too much because this is supposed to be about logic. So, if you think about that, okay, so, I mean, there are so many hours in a day. I mean, you can still, but, I, like, when, when, I, when I think of that, it's like, well, I mean, you still have eight hours, you know. You'd still have a slot for a nine-to-five to do something, you know, and eventually you're going to have to do something. You know, and I know that some people don't understand that when you have so much time and you, you might raise your kid, but there's only so much you can really do for a kid and you can be there a lot. There's a lot of things you can do. And some people, they do hang out with their family all the time, which personally I think is kind of weird because I'm different. It's like, dude, you're hanging out with your family like every night. Like there's nothing wrong with that, but it's like, I don't know, man. I just like, it's not that I don't like, you know, it's like, I like to live my own life and stuff. You know what I'm saying? So it's not like, you know, so unless you're one of those people who just hangs out with your family all day. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, but I mean, I don't know. I mean, like, I'm kind of more of a different kind of man over here. <clears throat> Anyways, so I'm not trying to downsize the whole being a father because being a father is a very important thing. Now, when you think about a rapper trying to be a father, right? So you made it big, you know, you got a bunch of fucking money and basically you can do whatever the fuck you want at that point in time, you know, depending on how your health goes and all that shit. So it's like, depending on the decisions you make, obviously a lot of people overdose or, you know, have problems, a lot of different problems. But um, anyways, so if, for you to be a rapper, you kind of, it's like, it's like kind of like being an actor and people don't really realize that I think sometimes is when you're an actor, you're acting out a character, you're acting out a scene. So when you're in a story, things are gonna happen to you as an actor and you're gonna have these things happen to you. Now, when you think about that for a second, think about that. So a person says, I'm retiring, from rap, right? What does that say? What does that say to you? Because a rapper wouldn't retire. Or MC, whatever you want to say, okay? A true MC, a true rapper would never retire. I mean, for example, Eminem, Lil Wayne, you know? There's a whole bunch of people that will ne they'll never stop, okay? They'll, they'll, never, they'll never stop. Like, Eminem, he's like a true... That guy's so rich. You know how rich Eminem is? And I, and I was looking at some statistics. He actually sold over 200 units. And I, don't, I think that might be singles, but I'm not really sure. But that is a lot of money, man. That's a lot of money. Like, you don't have to do anything, man. You, know, you don't have to do shit. And if you have that much money and you're still rapping, dude, you love rapping. Now, here's another aspect to it. There's something beyond money. It's called, you know, being a legend, being remembered, making your name known. And that has, throughout, you know, humanity, that has actually been something that's worth more than money. It's like the thing beyond money. It's like who you left behind, you know, the impact you made. And that's, that's, that's the real value is, that's a different kind of value is the influence, the value you have as an influencer, because that's power, that's raw power, that's money and, po money and power are closely related, but power can be very different from money in the, in the way that you can be really rich, but a lot of people might disagree with you, and most of the time, if you do have a lot of power, you're actually going to have either a lot of people that disagree with you or not, okay, so, that's what I'm saying. Like, it can be split. It's like, being, it's like being the president or something like that. You know, you're going to have like half the people disagreeing with you and fucking hating on you and spitting on you. You know, and that gets into a very different conversation. But just keeping it like real with rap, it's like, so if you think about that, logic, okay? I, I think he's a smart guy. You know, obviously, he was smart enough to do what he did. He was talented enough to get as far as he did. 
I'm not sure how much he rapped, you know, because sometimes people, when they get that good, you know, you think, oh man, that guy's so talented. Well, sometimes they study shit, they read shit, they fucking, they practice really hard and they get, they have to get to a point to where they know what's going to be fucking popular. Like they know, they know what to bring, man. And that's kind of beyond just, just rapping a song, you know? And, but it gets to a point to where it is about tone. It is about lyrics. It is about, you know, it can be a, like, if you, if you don't make a song right and it's, you know, it, it's, it gets into a conversation there, you know, controversial shit where it's like songwriting anyways. So for a person to retire and say, I'm retiring from rap, right? You could say, and, and see, I don't really give a shit, but I wanted to make a video cause I'm trying to like. I'm just trying to test the waters and see if I could like build a fucking channel and shit and make shit relevant from my perspective, which might be a unique perspective to people. So anyways, so it's like you could say he's a sellout. You could say he's a pussy. You could say he's a bitch. You know, you could say whatever you want, right? And I'm just saying this. I'm just saying this, you know, and, and I think most of the people are like, well, you know, he's going to do what he's going to do. But I do know a lot of people are like, oh, man, like that's one like you never man. Only so many people get that chance, man. And like dude, taking care of a kid, dude, it, it does take a lot and it can take a lot. But they get they get older. They're going to need you less and less and less and less, man. And, you know. It, it gets to this thing, like, I'm not an expert on kids, you know what I'm saying? Because it might be the reason saying I'm retiring, I don't need a fucking reason, right? You know, and I'm going to take care of my family, peace, right? So that's what I'm saying. So it wasn't really clear on if he was saying I'm retiring because, and I already said this. So it's like, there's only so many hours in a day. There's enough time for any fucking person on this earth. To hold a job and take care of kids okay now when, when it gets kind of complicated and you all know i mean if you have kids or you know about you know you know you know it, it if you especially if you don't have another parent there you know the whole situation can be really hard you know paying for daycare or you know whatever you're doing so i mean if you really think about it you know if you're in that situation you wouldn't have to do daycare you wouldn't have to do anything you could just take care of your kid yourself and you could do it, you know, which is actually a beautiful thing. That's a really nice thing that not a lot of people get to do. But that being considered, I mean, there's still a lot of time there, you know. I mean, you can only play with the baby so much before it's going to go to sleep. You know, what are you going to do? You're going to watch fucking movies, dude? What are you going to do? And I'm just going to say, man, what are you going to do? You're going to have, you know, how much sex can you have, man? I'm, I'm just going to put it out there, dude. Like, how much of this shit can you actually do to the point where you're going to be like, Okay, I, I want to fucking rap. And, or, you know, I want to do what I love. Or, you know, that's what I'm saying. And here's the thing, though. I don't really think that, you know, for a person... Okay, first of all, for a person like that to say, Oh, I'm retiring. Obviously, the person has advisors. Obviously, they're not stupid. But considering the situation, I mean, people do some stupid shit, even if they're famous and they got a lot of fucking money. Or they might say shit that they don't mean. They do things. They make mistakes. Just because you're famous and you're rich, it doesn't mean fucking really anything, really. I mean, people can worship you and you're fucking whatever. You're perfect, whatever the fuck. They're really not real, though. No one's a superhero, you know? But you can come close, I guess. Nowadays, with visual effects. No. Nah. But when you think about that, though, okay? Now, a person really doesn't need a reason. They don't need a reason. They do not need a reason to quit, you know? And that's a respectable thing. You know, but at the same time, it's like, fuck no. Fuck no. It's almost like, dude, are, you know, like for me to look at that, it's like, dude, am I really going to let this, like, let this go? Like, I'm just saying, like, how am I supposed to sit here and be like, oh, I respect you for that. You know, you're fucking, you got the opportunity of a fucking, what the fuck, dude? Like you fucking hat. That's what I'm saying. Like for a guy like that. You got a collaboration with Eminem. You got so many fucking million hits. You won the fuck, dude. You're, you're fucking raping shit, dude. You have the chance to make do something bigger and better. And it's like, do you realize? And you know, that's the thing. 
I'm sure the, that, that guy knows. He knows, you know? And, and, you know, that's a thing where it's like, it can look so good. It can look so great. But it's kind of like the, the whole Dave Chappelle thing, you know? How he just walked away, okay? And how he kind of put it. And here's another thing. Here's another thing. When you get that rich, really, I mean, you can do whatever. So it's like, what is valuable to you? And if you want to spend your time, you know, if you, maybe, maybe you say you pursued a career and you ended up loving it, but maybe you already did everything there was to do. So you feel like, well, I want to fucking spend my time doing something else, you know? And sometimes that happens. But I think sometimes it's like, no matter what you do or say, it was all just this whole fucking plan for your ass to get paid, you know? And I just, and, and it almost is like, well, there's nothing wrong with that, right? Like, there's nothing wrong with that. Like, fucking guy goes and pursues something. He gets fucking paid. He gets fucking really lucky and all this shit. And he's got skills and he's fucking smart and he's on top of it. There's nothing wrong with that. You know? But at the same time, it's like, damn. Like, it's almost like it doesn't even make sense. Like, because you can look at it every fucking way. You can look at every single fucking motive of the reason why someone would do that. And you can give them the benefit of the doubt and you can say, yep, 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 good, yep, yep, good luck, you know, or whatever the fuck. But I, I don't know. I think it can be split. Okay. It can be split because you can say, well, you just got to respect what the fucking guy's doing, you know, or you can be like, well, this guy, blah, 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 blah sell out whatever he doesn't give a fuck and he's just you know just but but when you really do think about it though I mean there are some serious reasons why you might want out you know and I'm not really sure exactly the whole story but I, you know, I do know that's a thing. I do know, you know, some people, some of those famous people, you know, celebrities, when, you know, they get pissed off and the paparazzis, the paparazzis talk shit to them. The paparazzis are always in their fucking face and everyone fucking, everyone knows who you are. You, you know, you could like, I don't know about logic, um, but like Eminem, Eminem, if Eminem walked anywhere in the country, Geographically, someone would recognize him. He'd be like, oh shit, that's Eminem. Like, you could probably not, like, he could probably only have, like, I bet you the maximum people that could see him and not notice is probably like, you know, only a couple people until someone looked at him like, oh shit, that's fucking Eminem. But that's another thing, too. I mean, if you were like fucking like the Mission Impossible guy and you got like a mask. And you fucking, you know, or like, uh, what the fuck? Oh, fuck. The guy, the guy from Jackass. Johnny Knoxville, the old man thing. You could do that. You could be out in public then. No one would fucking know. There you go, Eminem. Uh, I didn't really want to talk about Eminem. I think it's kind of, it's kind of gross how people obsess about people. But that wasn't the point of this video. The point of this video was to break down psychologically at psychologically. The logic of logic. Wow. Wow. That was deep. That was deep. That was deep. Anyways. Do I have anything more to say? Hmm. Well, you know, here's another thing. Here's another thing. Here's a, one more thing. So, okay. Maybe, so the guy, he's retired, right? But, he's... If he made some, so here's the thing. If you make stuff on your own, right? And you never show anyone. I think that's the only real thing that could tell another person you're not in it for the money. Okay? But if you're not in the money, there has to be some kind of motive there. Okay, so you're trying to help other people. So there's a few different motives there. There's a few ways to keep it positive. And I think that even if a person like that would retire, they'd probably be doing something at some point in time again no matter what i mean it's just i mean i think that it's sort of like you're just throwing your fucking life away like 
I think. I mean, I don't, like, I don't think, I don't really see how it should be such a big deal. But, you know, that, that, you know, and here's another thing. I don't really know how rich that guy is or anything. So, for real, just keeping it real. Fuck. I mean, you know, and another thing, too, about the whole thing is, uh, you know, a musician has a peak and they go up and then they go down. And I'm not even sure about this guy's career. I, I was never really a fan, so I never really was there. I don't even blew up or anything. You know, there's a lot of people out there nowadays. And really, I mean, it, it's sort of just like, I don't know, man. It, it's like this thing that I was just thinking about, and I just, I had to make a video about it because it's like, there's a lot of different reasons why a person would do that. But at the same time, it's just like, you know, you're just in it for the money, you know? And it's just like, it's not even real. Like, everything you did was just not even real. Like, but, I, and you, know, you know, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's just bullshit. And then, and then you think about that. If you think about that, too. You think about all of them. And I, I already figured this out a long time ago. So it's not like something that I just found out. And I'm, oh, just now saying it. It's no surprise. But, you know, it's like, that's kind of what the music industry is, man. It's, it's, and no matter who you are, it's kind of just bullshit. You know? People make these songs for, for fucking kids to relate to or whatever. And that's great. But they're getting paid for it. It's almost like, it's almost like the same thing if a person made like some headache medicine or something, right? Because people need their medicine. But anyways, I would like to say, wow, that's fake. That's not real. What a greedy piece of shit. Fucking fuck that guy. Whatever. But it's like, well, what does it matter? I'm just some guy fucking making a fucking clickbait bait. Well, I don't know. Just, I don't know if this is a clickbait video. I guess clickbait video is just some pointless fucking video. I actually had an incentive behind this video. But yeah, I'm just some guy fucking making a video about someone I don't even know who had a successful musical career. Wow. Anyways, um, I think that's about the end of the video. Uh... I decided to wear glasses. It's almost 22 minutes. But you got to think about that, man. And that grind. That w grind can be wicked. I don't think some people realize how fucking much some of these people are grinding, man. And you think about talent, but then you think about the grind. The grind can get you a lot. Of, the, gr the grind can put you somewhere. And, um, I don't know, man. I don't know. That's it. Fuck. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Another thing, when a person says, oh, I might, or I'm, a, I'm retiring after this album, going to take care of the kids. And I don't, I don't remember exactly what you said, but it was something like that. So, and when you say that, is that a joke? Like, oh, I'm going to be retiring after this album because I'm going to make some money, money off it. Ha ha, joke, right? So is that a joke? Another thing, another thing. I was just going to add this onto this video. Another thing. Is it a publicity stunt? Does he know that he's not going to quit, but he's saying he's retiring to keep you on your toes? Ahahaha. Ah, ah, ah. That's what Hobson's done before, actually. So I would not be surprised. But he doesn't seem like a person that would do that. It's just not logical of him. All right, have a good one.